Hey fly anglers, today I'm going to go over the CNF Designs medium lightweight chest storage. Let's get into the video. So I purchased about maybe two years ago the CNF Designs medium lightweight chest storage. Essentially it's just a chest box but kind of cross between a chest box and a lanyard. And whenever I got this, I had searched on the internet all over to try and find a good review and couldn't really find anything. So that's why I figured I'm gonna do a review on this and post it out there. Hopefully some people find it helpful. I haven't actually used this lanyard a whole lot. I used it a couple of times and I find that uh, I keep going back to my DIY setup, which I'll do a video in the future and link that in the video description if people are interested in seeing what I use. But uh, as with a lot of the CNF stuff, it's an extremely lightweight box. This is about, uh, I'd say, six inches by three and a half, four inches in size. On the outside, it kind of has, it's mounted to like a plastic plate here with a lot of uh, swivels that kind of go around the edge that you can hang stuff off of. Now, I have mounted on it like a, a leader straightener, uh, some nippers, uh, my split shot and some indicators and, and so on. But at the bottom here, you also have a plastic clip. And what that will function as is just a way to mount it to your shirt so that whenever you're leaning down, your lanyard isn't dangling in front of you and potentially dangling into the water. So I actually mounted this on a different lanyard than what it comes from from the factory. So what you'll get if you purchase this offline is this webbing. Uh, it's probably about quarter inch webbing and it, it has a, a plastic neck piece that I found to be extremely uncomfortable. And it's very lightweight, so that is one of the advantages. But what I did was I actually just mounted it onto a golden trout lanyard, uh, game changer lanyard, and I just did some custom work to it. I put uh, some synthetic corks here for some streamers right there. I have a jig streamer and I'm able to mount some additional accessories onto the outside. So let's start focusing on the box here. Starting from the front, when you open it up here, there is just your standard foam inserts. These hold a ton of flies. And I kind of have this organized where on this particular side, I have my nymphs. They're all organized by weight. My heavier nymphs right here, my lighter weight nymphs right here, and then I have a streamer there. This box is a little bit depleted at the moment. I just never really fully stocked it. And then as I used it, I never really restocked it whenever I lost flies. So tons of fly storage on this initial space right here. That's probably where you're gonna be able to fit the most. And then there's a flip leaf right in the back here and a deeper compartment. And because this is a little bit deeper, I have a little bit more space. This is where I keep my dry flies. I don't wanna crush those hackles. So that's why I wanted to give them plenty of space. Not a lot of dry flies in there right now. That's a good place to keep larger flies too. So maybe some streamers if you have those. And then this gets us to the back of the flip leaf. So you have, and it comes with the box, a threader right here for threading your flies on the tippet. I never really use that, but it's handy if, if you know, say you, your vision isn't that good or you got a little bit of shaky fingers. And then we have two compartments on the front and these open up and you can keep split. I have split shot in one and in the other one, I have that currently empty now, but if you had some small like pinch on indicators, you can fit something like that in there or some flies. And this uh, flip leaf is actually a, like a, a kind of a weak magnet to where if you have really small flies, so I have my midges right here some soft tackles, just things that are gonna be really lightweight that aren't gonna fall off. So that magnet will hold them there pretty well. So going to the middle of the box here, you can kind of see this, uh, just kind of the logo right here, but behind it, something that's not gonna be real visible to the camera is just like a small razor almost. Uh, you can't put your fingers anywhere near it, so you can't cut yourself, but it's a place to cut tip it. And the reason that is important is for the back feature of this box. So moving to the back here, and I actually gotta unattach this for a moment to show you. There is 
some tippet storage. Now, my one gripe with this is it's, it, you have to have really small tippet containers. It's not gonna fit your standard size. Like I usually use Rio, Trout Hunter, Cortland, and this just won't fit those spools. So I actually had to unspool some tippet, put it on some old tippet uh, spools that I just had laying around and throw those in there. But the nice thing is you can wind that tippet through the top of this is attached through a magnet and you can have it sticking out the top to where whenever you need tippet, it acts as a really good tippet dispenser. Just pull it out the desired length that you need, cut it off using that razor blade there, and then you're good to go with your tippet. Okay, so that's basically all there is as far as the features of this box. Just a short little review on this. I do wanna give my thoughts a little bit. I don't intend to keep this box. I just don't use it enough. Not to say it's a bad box, but there's just some little things about it that I don't like. I think my biggest gripe is the, the tippet thing. It just doesn't fit your standard size tippets bowl. I think that would be super convenient. Now it only does hold two. I could mount some tippet to the outside lanyard here if I wanted, but that's just more than I wanna carry if I'm using a lanyard setup. To me, the lanyard setup is supposed to be small and streamlined, something where if I'm just planning a quick trip or a boat trip, I don't have to carry a lot with me. This carry is more than what I think I need for a standard lanyard setup. So for that reason, I'd rather just use my chest pack. It just gives me a little bit more organization, a little bit more carrying capacity. But uh, overall, it is a, a, a really nice, well-designed lanyard. CNF Designs has some really great stuff. Just super lightweight, especially for backpackers. Backpackers that maybe want to carry a little bit more than, than uh, what like a normal lanyard would carry. That, this would be a great option. But overall, it's a good box. I do hope that this review is helpful to some people. Some people that maybe are looking to buy it, they can get a little bit of a closer look at the features. So if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions in the box, please comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. I'm also gonna do a accompanying blog post on this just for some extra pictures and things like that to really show off some of the details. And that can be located at backyardangling.com. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys next time.